on my neck. Look at that. Still kicking. All right, y'all. I just picked up some bait. We're about to go walk the trail to a spot to see if we can catch a few fish for the tournament. So, got the shed. About to get everything unloaded, make the walk back. So, we'll see you when we get back there. All right, we made it to the fishing spot where we're gonna be fishing. This is it. It's basically just rainwater running off coming through this tunnel right here. This is a good spot to catch all kinds of fish. Everything loves this turbulent water right here. All right, start off. I'm gonna throw some jigs around. All right, this is just a quarter ounce jig head. I don't know, some kind of squiggly tail worm thing. A 15 pound braided line. This is on a loose smash combo. A fairly cheap setup. And we're gonna get some cast and hopefully we'll see some fish. I really want to catch a white bass for the tournament. Maybe some yellow bass. I'm going to get some shad cut up here in a minute and see if there's some catfish or bowfin. Both I need for the tournament. I'm not feeling anything. All right. I'm going to get this thing cut up. Ta-da! We got it cut up. Fairly small chunks. Not big. I'm not chasing anything big, so... And if you cut it up into small chunks, obviously you'll have more opportunities and more pieces of bait. So we're gonna get this put on the line, get cast out, y'all hold tight. So I'll let y'all take a look at this new fancy tackle box thing I got. We'll see what it looks like come about October. I might not even have this coming in, but I've been getting a lot of people asking me about just the basics of the basics. So here I have everything that I normally use, swivels, sinker slides. These are fast clips for tying things. If you're in a hurry or just looking to tie stuff fast, these are great. I typically always have some kind of bumper, some kind of bead on. These are just little beads that you can buy most bait stores. You can even buy them Walmart, Target, wherever you shop. Got my scale in here, the Whisker Seeker, 110 pound digital. Uh, yeah, just basic stuff. So I'm going to run y'all over how I would tie my setup. Like I said before, most of the time I use a six ounce lead. This is a bank sinker. Sometimes I'll run the sinker slides. It just depends on where I'm at here. I don't feel like I'll need it. So we'll put the weight on and you'll get your little bead, a little bumper bead. And all this bead does is just keep this weight right here from bumping up against your knot. Sometimes these weights will have little sharp fragments on them from where they got cast and or molded, however you want to say. And sometimes when it bumps up against your knot, it can cause some trouble. So I always put a little bead on there. Sometimes I'll put two, just depending on how I'm feeling. Eight ounce sinker, put your bumper bead. I always try to get the same. It's a 300 pound barrel swivel. Somebody might say it's too much. I say it's what I like security blanket i guess you could say most of my knots i tie on all my swivels or any other if it's not connected to a hook i normally run a palomar knot pretty easy to tie fast bam you see so then like i said your bead bumps up against your knot that way you don't get your knot cut or anything and for a leader line i like 30 40 pound this is 40 pound trilene big game this is a great all-around go-to leader line. Then I'll take my hook. I just recently got into tying these, well, putting these knots on here. It's a no snail, so you come from the back side of the eye. Get the line on the shank of your hook. Everybody has their preference. I don't know, I like six or eight twists, something like that. That might be 10. Take the other end of your line. Come through the back side of the hook. cinch it down some people cut this tag off I don't it's not gonna stop the fish from biting your hook so there you go no tie snail knot easy fast this may be 12 18 inches of line the leader line 30 pound and same thing back to the swivel I'm just gonna use the polymer knot polymer palomar I don't know how you say it loop-de-loop I'll see if I can find a link, show you how to tie this. 
bada boom. There we go. So that's the setup. Eight ounce sinker, bumper B, barrel swivel, 30 pound mono leader line to a seven knot circle hook. All right, we're baited up. Like I said, we ain't chasing no big fish. So a little piece of bait will do. I got a pretty good feeling we'll catch a fish. Caught a lot of fish at this spot. A lot of other people have too. Some of y'all might recognize it. So I'm gonna get this one cast out right here. Seems like a good spot. And on this setup, these fish that I'm fishing for here, I do like to use the clicker. That way they can run with it. They normally run pretty shallow. You see I didn't cast out far. So we'll get that tight. Put the clicker on and disengage it. So hopefully we'll hear that sound here in a few minutes. And this reel right here is a Pin Fathom 2. This is the 3080p. I'm not sure. There's a lot of different models. This is a great reel. This is probably one of my favorite reels to use. And I got it on a just a Bass Pro Shop Cat Buster Special. I paired this up with this rod. I don't I had the rod and the reel broke, so great reel. Okay, rod. Alright, y'all, we got something on. Yep, here we go. Gonna reel down on him. Oh, fish on. He's on. Fish on. This is what I wanted to. Yep. Get in here. Get in here. Look at him. <laughs> all right. He's all wrapped up. I'm going to get him untied. Let y'all get a better look at him. All right. I'm trying to get this guy wrangled up. I never noticed this on these bowfin. It's got some kind of little pocket or something underneath his mouth. I don't know what that's for. I'm going to try to get this hook out of here and let y'all get a better look. These things are like pit bulls of the fish world, man. They are so feisty. I'm going to get him calmed down and get a better look at him. Look at that fin, y'all. Look how cool that is. Kind of like a snake. All right. This is what they call a bow fin. Some people know them as grinnels. They're, they're not the prettiest fish. They got some teeth. If you're fishing for catfish or something, these things will take your bait, break your line. This one's very pretty. This one's got a lot of cool colors on its scales. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Look how big that tail is. These things are powerhouses when it comes to fighting, but they are fun to catch y'all. I just want to give you a better look. This is a Grinnell also known as bowfin. All right, we're gonna get him put back and see if we can catch something bigger. All right, y'all just got a measurement on him for the tournament. It's 26 and a quarter. Let's get this thing put back. I'm gonna put him on the other side over here. That way he ain't messing with me over there while I'm trying to catch other ones. Adios, butto. These things are nasty, y'all. So nasty. All right, let's do that again. I got a good feeling we'll catch another one here. You see, I'm not casting very, I'm just tossing this thing out. Same thing, I already got the line tight, so I'm just gonna set the clicker. Catch something. All right, I think we got something. Yep, fish on. Oh, it came off. Oh, <sighs> that one looked big. Dang it. Arr. Well, at least they're still biting. These things aren't shy either, y'all. They're feisty, feisty fish. That's one thing I like about them. All right, here we go. I think I got him. He's on there for now. A little smaller. Get in here. Calm down.
There we go. <laughs> Feisty. Feisty fish. Look at those little little barbel things. I don't know if y'all can see them. Oh! Yeah, these things are, they're wild, super wild. Like what I was saying, those little barbels on their nose, those things are pretty cool, look like a worm. Look at that fin. They'll get you. That big old tail fin. That's how they put down all that power, y'all. Check that thing out. Pretty cool. Ooh. Did y'all hear that? These things make a little grunting noise. They got a pretty cool little patch right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. That's pretty cool. These things are so cool looking, y'all. But they're slimy. They're nasty. They kind of smell. But I'm going to get this one put back. I want to see if I can catch one that's got the green fins on it. There's some here, but... You gotta go through a bunch of them before you'll get one of them pretty ones. Not that this one isn't pretty. But... All right, let's get him put back. I guess there doesn't have to be nothing graceful about putting these fish back. Like that. Mm. They're pretty tough. I'm gonna try and throw this headpiece on. Maybe big bait, big fish, right? I'll get this spot a little bit longer. And then I wanted to go try to catch some live bait. So, let's see if we can squeeze one more of these nasty, ancient, stinky fish. All right, I got some night crawler on. Let's see if we can catch something over here. Come on, yellow bass, drum, anything that bites. Got him. Yellow bass. Got him. Oh, he's in the bushes. Oh, oh, it's a big one. This one might have the green. Oh. <sighs> and that's how it goes. These things are so hard to get a hook set on. <sighs> All right, y'all, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I was able to catch two fish that I could use for the tournament. The grinnel, obviously, and then the yellow bass. Catching those granules super fun. I came here really to catch bait for tonight, but when I got up at the front, everything was all messed up. The water was flowing. So I decided to come back here to see if I could catch some fish for the tournament. Right now, I'm gonna get everything loaded up. I still got a pole cast out right now. I don't think anything's gonna happen. It's slowed down. I appreciate y'all watching and see y'all in the next one.